Welcome to the Grateful American series, an interactive multimedia program designed to restore enthusiasm in American history for kids and adults too. Creator of this series is David Bruce Smith, an author and publisher here in Washington, D.C. I'm Hope Katz Gibbs, your co-host, founder of Incandescent Public Relations and Incandescent TV. The museum is proud to present today's program commemorating the 200th anniversary of the inauguration of James Monroe as the fifth president of the United States. The James Monroe Museum was given to the Commonwealth of Virginia in 1964. And today is administered by the University of Mary Washington. As an employee and an alumnus of the university, I am particularly pleased that we are gathered today on this campus in front of this building, our oldest building at the university, that is named for James Monroe. It's my honor now to introduce the 10th president of the University of Mary Washington, whose own inauguration will take place on April 21st, Dr. Troy D. Pan. Uh, we are very proud of our association with uh, President Monroe and, and the museum, uh, and are certainly honored to be here to celebrate and recognize an individual who played such an important role in our representative democracy at a place, at a university, that I also believe has had a very special role in place in our representative democracy. So I welcome you here today. I, uh, I hope you enjoy today's ceremonies. It's an honor. I look forward to enjoying this with you. Thank you very much. With patriotic music in the air, citizens dressed in their finest clothes, and soldiers, sailors, and Marines at the ready, our ceremony begins with the presentation of the color. destitute of feeling if I was not deeply affected by the strong proof which my fellow citizens have given me of their confidence in calling me to the high office whose functions I am about to assume. Relying on the aid to be derived from the other departments of the government, I enter on the trust to which I have been called by the suffrages of my fellow citizens with my fervent prayers to the Almighty that he will be graciously pleased to continue to us that protection which he has already so conspicuously displayed in our favor. I thank you. Colonel James Monroe, are you ready to take the constitutional oath of office? I do, sir. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, James Monroe, do solemnly swear. I, James Monroe, do solemnly swear. To faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. To faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability, and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Hello, patriotic citizens. Salute our new president with hearty huzzas. Three cheers for James Monroe, president of the United States of America. Huzzah! 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 Thank you so much for being with us. You are watching The Grateful American TV Show, a video production of David Bruce Smith's Grateful American Foundation. Watch more episodes at www.
GratefulAmericanTV.com. And follow our TV show, radio show, monthly newsletter, and upcoming books at our website, www.GratefulAmericanFoundation.com. I'm Hope Katz Gibbs, your co-host. On behalf of David Bruce Smith and myself, we look forward to restoring enthusiasm in American history for you and your kids. We'll talk to you soon.